Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Cedro? I'm doing great. How, how about you? I'm doing Good evening, okay. teacher. Good evening, Carla. I'm doing okay too, th too. thank you. <coughs> Great. How was your weekend? It was busy in my case. <laughs> okay. Are you usually busy on weekends? Sometimes. Okay. Yes. What about you, teacher? Um, Saturday morning I worked. In the afternoon I came back to the house. Mm -hmm. And yesterday in the morning I cleaned my house a little bit. I cleaned um, outside, washed the car. I hadn't washed my car in a long time. Oh. So, <laughs> and then I was I was home the rest of the the rest of the day. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So you know, Saturday and Sundays are um, good days. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, to take a rest. Exactly. That's the idea. You know, like to, to rest and, but sometimes people work more on the weekend than yeah. what they do during the week. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Do you guys uh, work on Saturdays? No, sadly, but I helped my brother. Okay. Does your brother have a business or something? Yes. Yes. Good. Very good. Yes. All right. Welcome back, people. It's good to see you again. What's today's date? Monday. Monday, right. Yes, Monday what? 16th. Yes, August. exactly. August 16th. That is correct. That is correct. Okay, uh, do you remember the topics that we covered on Thursday? Past simple, we were speaking. Simple what is past. it? Simple past? And yes. Some sentences. I remember that you took a picture from so WhatsApp. Picture. Yeah. Uh -huh. when, do we use the, when do we use the simple past? Um, to speak about actions that end. Exactly. To speak about actions that ended in the past. Yeah. They are part of history. So when I asked you, how was your week? And you said, I rested. I helped my brother. Uh, we went out with the family. We went shopping. I cleaned my house and, and, and things like that. Anyway, so thank you for being present today. Remember, tomorrow is our last class of this uh, first module. So um, most likely we're going to start um, this coming Monday, hopefully. So uh, we'll see what happens. Any questions or comments about last class? No? No, so far so good. Okay, so remember, there are 12 tenses. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. So on Thursday, we were discussing the functions of the simple past. We were talking. Now it's time for you to use it. I will give you five minutes so you guys can get with somebody and talk about the different things you did on the weekend. Let me see this here, five bears out of room out of room and here we go talk about what you did on the weekend when you talk pay attention to the way you use the simple past tense let's go
Carlos, Carlos.
All right, people. Um, any questions or comments on how to express your ideas in the simple past tense? Is everything clear? Okay. How do you say descanse el fin de semana? I rested on weekend. I rested on the weekend. How do you say si descanse el fin de semana? Is is si descanse el fin de semana. I did rest yes. On weekend. I did rest on the weekend. Yes. Excellent. All right. Questions or comments so far? No. It's good how I said uh, I rested. I rested. On weekend or I rested. Aha, uh -huh, rested. Aha. Uh -huh. On weekend or always is I did rest on weekend. No, no. That's why I made two different questions. The first one was descanse el fin de semana. I rested on weekend, just like you answered. And then I said, si sí, descanse el fin de semana. And the message is a little bit different. And then Isidro said, I did rest on the weekend. Yep. Well, your answer was good, Carlos. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, going back to the simple past tense, what is another structure that we use to talk about past events? Uh-huh. What is the, what did you? Uh, what is another structure that we you use if? to talk about past events? Use verb to be in past, was and were. Okay, was and were. Okay. Uh, do you know any other tenses that are related with the past? If I using with. Okay, if, the second if, conditional. If. Uh huh. Yep. What about the past continuous? What's the function of the past continuous? Use uh, with the past continuous when we start to do anything in back and we are doing at the moment that we are speaking too. Okay, someone else? Thank you, Cedro. So for example, if I ask you, what were you doing yesterday at 5 p.m.? What were you doing yesterday at 5 oh, yeah. p.m.? What would be the answer? I was running, I was uh, cooking. Right. I was running, I was cooking. Okay, so what does that tell you? Yesterday at 5 p.m., Isidro yeah. says, I was running, I was cooking, I was studying, I was sleeping. So um, when you use the past continuous, you're talking about an action that was in progress in a particular time in the future, right? So yesterday at 5 p.m., that's a particular time in the future. Or if I ask you, where were you studying in the year 1990, in 1995, in the year 2000? So you said in the year 1995, I was studying in Ricaldone. I was studying in the, the National Institute. I was studying in Dominican Republic. So, right? Questions or comments about the past continuous? No? I don't. Okay. Do you remember used to? What is the function of used to? Something that I don't, I don't do it now. Okay, something that you don't do now. Can you be a little bit more specific? Anything Anybody? that you used to do in any moment of the past, but now not. Okay, something that you did in the past on a regular basis, which you don't do anymore. Or vice versa, things that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. But now, yes. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I didn't used to understand my mom. Now I do. My mom used to tell me, Francisco, if you come home at 11 p.m., I go to sleep at 11 p.m. If you come home at 1 in the morning, I go to sleep at 1 in the morning. And I said, why? Go to sleep. Don't wait for me. But 
parents <laughs> they know better right so that that's just an example um anything else about used to how do you make a question um uh applying used to rocio Krisha, Robert, Carmen Maria, Carla, Gustavo, Xiomara, Glenda. Uh, maybe it's WH word. Okay. Plus D plus subject. Okay. So where did you study? Where did you used to study? Oh, I used to study in Liceo Cristiano Central. Oh, I used to study at Universidad Tecnológica. So where did you used to, right? Why did you used to come home late? Oh, I used to come home late because I got off from work at 10 p.m. Just an example. <laughs> questions or comments? Questions, questions. Okay, so I will assign you to work in pairs. I'm gonna, uh, you guys are gonna be practicing with the, with used to. Remember the time that you are investing at this moment, you will see the fruits in the future because you could be doing different things. You could be playing with your children. You could be spending time with your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. You could be watching TV. You could be doing a lot of things. You could be sleeping. Yeah. But you say, no, I want to improve my English. And in That's the future, right. you will see the results. So let me show you this share okay can you see the paper the document mm -hmm. yes okay let me see this here okay let me I think it's faster if I just take a picture and send it to the WhatsApp chat. I don't have my WhatsApp activated um, right now. I want to take a picture and there. So let me rearrange. Recreate. Mm -hmm. Recreate. Add a room. And here we second. And here we go. Make sure everybody has a partner. Yes. Let me. All right, go ahead.
Where we go to no. the beach every summer. The bird is in the past. When we yeah. use well, uh -huh. okay. Uh, but uh, we need to use to use two. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, number three. Okay. Uh, the number six we are working on. Yeah. You have the picture, yeah. Carlos? Yes, yes. And number six is for me. Yeah, we are working on this. Mm -hmm. The number six. Ah, okay, yes. Okay. Wow. Oh, she has slow eating. Uh huh. What do you think? Teacher. We are yes. confused. Yes. Okay. We are confused about the third one. Okay, let me check the third one. Can you help, please? <laughs> okay. She used to love eating chocolate, but now uh, she hates it. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. We, we only have to use. Uh, yeah, used, used to. to. Oh, okay. She used to love eating chocolate, but now she hates it. Oh. Uh, Okay, thank I you. love chocolate. Chocolate is one of my main weaknesses. <laughs> I love it. Every time I, I go to the supermarket, I try to ignore because when you pay your uh for the things you're buying, the chocolates are right there. Yes. Stickers, <laughs> Nestle, Lucitas, uh, all you kinds of chocolates. You pick some. If I'm hungry, I usually buy one. And you know, <laughs> and that's why people tell you, don't go to the supermarket when you're hungry because you want to buy everything. You want to yes. take everything, right? Yes, but I it's, know. Have a good breakfast, a good lunch, and then go to the supermarket. And then you buy only what you need. Yes, it's true. <laughs> yep. Okay, let me visit another room. But now she can because I don't know if she weak. used to. Uh -huh. She used to love, but yeah, love in the past. In the past, in the past. Yeah. eating chocolate, but now she hates, hates it. Hates it. Hates it. Oh, okay. Right. Hey. Do you guys like yeah. chocolate? Yes, I like it so much. I love chocolate. I love chocolate too. I yes. love chocolate. Dark yeah. or light or, or what? You know, uh, if it's really dark, the taste is a little bit different. Yeah. So uh, I, I like white chocolate too. You know, it's it's a uh, it's a little bit different, but but the regular chocolate is the best. Yes, it's mm. delicious. Very delicious. White. What is chocolate. it? Chocolate. White huh? chocolate is the, is the best. White chocolate. Yeah, yeah. White chocolate. The is white good. chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate with cookies. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Yes. Yeah. So that's why, you know, when, yeah. when you go to the supermarket, you shouldn't go when you're feeling hungry because your stomach is telling you, get this, get that, buy this, buy that. Yes. But it's not good. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's buy good. everything, buy the whole supermarket. You deserve it. It's not. What is it? All right, let me visit another room.
I was seven, right? No, number six, number six. Six, oh, okay. Okay, uh, volunteer for the first one. Volunteer for the first one. 
I used to live in a flat when I was a child. Excellent. I used to live in a flat when I was a child. What's the meaning of flat, people? Bandera. Huh? Bandera. Not really. No. Si fuese no. una G, fuera flag. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Piso. What's a flat? Piso. Piso. Ajá, pero ahí están diciendo, ¿solía vivir en qué? Ok, when you say flat, a flat is very similar to an apartment. Yes. With uh -huh. no divisions. With no divisions. So the size, similar to an apartment, but with no divisions. Es un solo cajón. Oh, and I then guess. you decide where's the kitchen, where's the bedroom, where is the television. You decide. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a movies, like in the movies. Exactly, exactly. In the States, you know, uh, rent is very expensive in the United States. So uh, flats are uh, a good option. They're a good option. All right. Um, what was the other one? Number two. Yeah. Did we used to go to the beach every summer? Good. Did we used to go to the beach every summer? Mm -hmm. What about number three? Anybody? She, she used to eating chocolate, but now she hates it. Now she hates it. Now she hates it. Yeah, she used to love eating chocolate, but now she hates it. What about number four? Didn't use to smoke. One more time. He didn't smoke. Use to smoke. Excellent. He didn't use to smoke. Number five. I played tennis when I was at school. I used play. to play play tennis. tennis I used to play tennis when I was at school. Exactly. Was Number six. He used to be able to speak he French. He to speak French. Has forget it all. Okay, but she has forgotten it all. all. Yes. What about number seven? Repeat, please. He six. 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 Yeah, number six is she used to be able to speak French, but she has forgotten it all. She you used can. to be Thank able. You. Okay. All right. Number seven. What's number seven, people? Did he used, to, he play used golf to play golf every weekend? Every weekend? Uh -huh. Did he used to play golf every weekend? Number eight. He used, used to, to, he used to have short hair. Excellent. Number nine. Julie. Julie used, to, used to, study to study Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay. Portuguese. And the last one? I didn't, I, I didn't used to hate school. I didn't, I didn't use to <laughs> hate school. Excellent. I didn't used to hate school. Nice. All right. Now, can you give me a sentence of the things you did in the past but you don't do anymore? I used to play basketball. <laughs> now I. Okay, I used to play basketball. Good. Someone else. Uh -huh. I used to live in Aguachapam, but now I live in San Salvador. Excellent. Excellent. Who else? I used to sleep a lot, but now I couldn't. Okay, I used to sleep a lot, but now I can't. Yeah, I can. Uh -huh. I used to play video games a lot, but no, now I can't. Okay, good, good. Yeah, you used to uh, play video games a lot. Okay, yeah. someone else, someone else. Did you used to study in the morning or in the afternoon? Afternoon. The afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah, I used to study in the afternoon too. 
I used to catch la dos A. Do you remember la dos A? La ruta dos A? No. I live in Santana City. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, dos A used to run from Iglesia El Calvario to Mexicanos. Used to. Because I used to live downtown San Salvador. And I used to study in Liceo Cristiano. So La Dos A was my uh, best option to go to school. All right. Any questions or comments about used to? Okay. And now we go with the last activity of the day. Um, teacher. Yeah. Teacher, excuse me. Sure. I, I'm confused with when you did uh, in the use, used to. Okay, let me give you an example in the chat. For example, did you use to study from 8 to 9 p.m.? So imagine that um, three weeks from now, you go to Unicentro and you see someone that looks familiar, but you're not sure, but you ask the person, hey, did you used to study from eight to 9 p.m. at Inglés Corporativo? Yes, that was me. And when you remove the mask, you say, oh yeah, I recognize you. So when you're making questions related with used to, um, it's necessary that you include did. You must Thank use did. I don't know you. if that was your question. I clear, it's clear. Okay, now Thank remember, uh, when you say, did you used to? You're making a question, solía usted? Vivir en Soyapango, solía usted trabajar en Adoc, solía usted viajar en la Ruta 2. You're making about uh, actions that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore, right? Ahora, si usted quiere ocupar used to con el verbo to be, ya no está diciendo solía, sino que está diciendo estar acostumbrado. How do you say estoy acostumbrado a esto? I am used to. I am used to. Uh -huh. How do you say estaba acostumbrado? I was used to. I was used to. I was used to. Yes. How do you say voy a estar acostumbrado? I will. I will, I will be used to. Yeah, I will be used to. I will do used to. I will be used be. to. Used okay. To. Yep. Um, exactly. All right. Any questions about used to? Any comments? No. Okay. So uh, we were also talking about the present perfect. What is the function of the present perfect, people? Uh huh. Uh, can you repeat, please? What is the function of the present perfect? Oh. Um. I have been in Mexico oh. two times. Uh, like. Uh, to express things that happened in the past but are relevant in present. Okay, that something is one. Like some, yep. Something like that. Yeah, very good. That is one option. Uh, things that you did in the past and they are relevant to the to the present. Right. What else? You use the present perfect to talk about unfinished activities unfinished activities 
I've been in Mexico two times. He estado en México dos veces. That action is not finished. Right now I'm in El Salvador, but I can go to Mexico next year. I can go to Mexico in December. So the action is not finished. Okay. Uh, what is the form of the verb when you use the present perfect? In simple past. You sure? No. Past, past continuous. Past, past, past participle. Yeah. Uh, past, 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 past participle. Yeah. Okay. Let me see this here. Okay, can you see the image? Yes. Okay. So in the first chart, you have infinitive, you have simple past. Okay. Your mission is to say the past participle. What is the past participle of go? Gone. Gone, gone right? Mm -hmm. gone. Being. Right? Goes. Reading. Uh, reading. Right, reading. wrote. Written. 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 Eat, eat. ate. Eating. 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 Come, eating. came. Come. 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 Speak, spoke. Okay. Spoken. See, Spoken. saw. Mm. See, saw. Seen. Seen. Uh -huh. Yeah. B was were. Then. Been. Take took. Take take Sing sang. Song. 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 Find found. 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 Send found. sent. Sent. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Good job. So what you will do? Uh, you will do exercises too. Three, and maybe we have time for uh, number four. So let me make your last. Okay, 15, recreate. All right, here we go, people.
Okay. Feeling the narrative form. Mm -hmm. Use the present perfect. Yes, maybe it's, it's the same. Uh huh. Kathy and Carol, not miss. Missing, maybe. Their favorite film. Uh huh. Feel the negative form of the verbs using the present perfect. Kathy and Carol have. Uh, haven't haven't yeah missed their favorite film yeah okay and the in the past participle miss is oh. missed is yes, missed we have, yeah okay it's, entonces it's a, Kathy, it's, it's a regular verb okay Kat Katie uh Katie uh -huh. had just uh -huh. been came uh -huh. Uh, home from school. How do you think? Uh, sí. It's correct or I'm grown? Um, let me see, let me see. <clears throat> Which number? Mm -hmm. The D. Let me see it. Okay. It's a different, um, give me a second. It's come. Come. Betty, uh, letter D, number three, or which one? Oh, Kathy, uh, number, number two. two. Okay. Two. Number two. Yeah, number two. Okay, Kathy has just come home from school. Mm -hmm. Acaba de venir de la escuela. Has just come from school. Ah, ah yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's just had, all right. Yep. So remember, when you're mm -hmm. talking about the third person singular, you're supposed to say has. Uh-huh. As with has. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions or comments about today's class? No? So thank you for being I here. Haven't. Yes? You don't have any questions? All right, so thank you very much for your time. Remember, we finish tomorrow, so make sure that you're present tomorrow. Have a good night. Sleep well. Okay, bye bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.